welcome back to my channel Stitch Rip Repeat. I am Helen and you are watching this week's episode of Friday Sews. So I said there was a few things I was hoping to get done. I didn't get any more of my vests done but I am working on those so hopefully they'll be in next week's video for you. However I did get my Sophia trousers made that I was hoping to do. So I did say that I wanted to make these trousers. They are from Tilly and the Buttons Make It Simple book. I've seen so many gorgeous pairs of these popping up everywhere and um, I had heard how straightforward and easy they were that I decided they were a great summer trouser for me to try and make and they are in this fabulous linen slub from my favourite shop down here in Plymouth which is Make It 140. Now although I'm putting pictures up so you can see the full length i put my trousers here because I'm not sure how well it shows up the lovely texture in the photos of this fabric so I'm hoping you can see it's got this really lovely texture um, in this gorgeous colour blue and um, I'm hoping you can see that. These were as everyone said very straightforward to make. They are an elasticated waist at the back and then a flat fronted at the front and the book gives you a couple of optional extras one being you can make it into a dungaree pattern which i'm going to try at some point and the other being to add inseam pockets well i can't really make something like trousers or dress without pockets so i've added in the pockets and honestly even with adding in the pockets it didn't take very long at all and i really stuck by tilly's fantastic little tip that she has of doing slow sewing so fitting in the bits as and when you can in her book she has little clocks next to each part of the sewing process that gives you an idea of how long it will take and I did I did kind of follow those so I did pockets first and then I did putting the legs together and then I concentrated on the elastic so I did them split up in sections but it's still flew by and they were finished in no time at all. The only thing different in these to the pattern in the book is mine are a couple of inches shorter than the pattern because I just didn't have enough in the length to cut them longer so they're like a three quarter length trouser for me and also when you're putting in the elastic uh, Tilly gives you the brilliant gauge for what size you make so I made size five and then how much elastic you should work with and I cut the amount she said and then obviously tried them on and realized I needed to chop off about um, half an inch to an inch of the elastic so they were a little bit tighter but that was literally it as I say I went for the optional extra pockets and that didn't take hardly any time at all and they are lovely deep pockets in these trousers. I absolutely love these already. I will show you later in my video that I have made another pair since I made this one so I am on a roll this week. Um, if you follow me on Instagram you'll already know what I'm about to say. However, these gorgeous trousers, I put them on, I want to say it was Tuesday as soon as I'd finished making them and when I pick my children up from school I normally change back into my loungewear um, but for whatever reason I didn't do this straight away uh, yes this was a fatal error in judgment <laughs> by me because I was making curry for the children's dinner and um, I unfortunately managed to spill curry all over my brand new Sophia trousers um, so I tried not to panic that I'd ruined them literally the first day I made them and uh, pop them in some cold water and put them on a 30 degree wash and uh, kept my fingers crossed. Thankfully, they were absolutely fine. But what this did show to me was I'd made a, a slight error when I was making these up in that I was so pleased that I was nearly finished that when I hemmed the trousers, I didn't do a double fold or overlock before I hemmed them. So I know it was a really simple error, um, sort of a rookie mistake, isn't it? But I think I was, as I say, very excited to finish that I just hemmed them. So when I washed them after the curry, and hopefully I'll show a photo, they frayed right down to the stitching line. And I realised that this was a bit 
dangerous because obviously after a few more washes I could lose those stitches and it could unravel and become a great big mess. So I did show on my Instagram stories the other day that the morning after I had my curry accident with the trousers and found the fraying I wanted to fix it straight away so that I didn't worry about washing them again. I did think about putting some bias binding inside so that it would cover the fraying but then obviously I'd have to stitch it down and I didn't really want a um, another stitch line around the bottom I just wanted the one hemline so I had this idea that I wasn't sure if it would work and I cut out some strips about two inches wide that would go around each leg and then I folded down the long ends of these strips uh, so that they had no raw edges and I have this hemming tape oh just a second yeah and it was from um, I think Dunelm years ago when I didn't sew and I was trying to take up the children's trousers for school and I got this wonderful wonder web invisible hemming tape and I knew I had some left in my um, in my sewing box so basically with these strips with the nice neat folded edge so there was no rough edges showing I put the wonder web right down the middle on the inside against the two raw edges and then I placed them over I'm hoping you can see this I'll put in a photo if not the frayed part of my uh, trouser hem and basically ironed them in place so obviously on the inside you've got this extra piece but it's really well stuck down it's covering that frayed and it's done the job so I was really pleased that I managed to rescue them before anything bad happened so yeah that was my first pair of Sophia trousers now I haven't hemmed my next pair or got any photos yet so I'm hoping by the magic of editing there'll be a photo here <laughs> of the Sophia trousers that I made and I made these from a fabric that you may recognize was one of my initial possible fabrics I was going to use back in my frugal frocks dress um, and I'll link the video down below in the description if you haven't seen that do go back and have a look I had an idea of some dresses and a few fabrics and this was one of them now the brainwave I had when I made these Sophia trousers was I wanted to make some obviously the full length but down here in beautiful Devon we often go to the beach whenever we get nice weather which if you live in the UK you know that's not guaranteed it's hit and miss <laughs> we sometimes go all the way to Cornwall which I say all the way to Cornwall literally the border is about 15 minutes down the road for me <laughs> so they've got gorgeous beaches over there we love to go to Newquay and I really fancied this totally impractical white fabric and um, as you'll see not only did I make the Sophia trousers I made a little top now I'm not going to win any sewing awards for either of these and they are see-through <laughs> so and they're white so really honestly not the most practical make I've ever made but my idea in my head is that I will be able to flounce around on the pier or down by the beach with my swimming costume underneath so I don't mind if they can see my swimming costume through my outfit because you know some people wear a lot less clothing at the beach and in the beach shops but I thought this would be lovely just to throw on it gives me a sort of I don't know a foreign feeling of being on holiday and I can just see it with a lovely big sun hat and some big shades um, I'll just have to make sure I always carry a, a clean towel or picnic blanket to pop down if I decide to sit in these <laughs> but yeah I was really pleased that I've got this lovely sort of flowy top you know it's not fitting it's not the best fit um, but I really like how this turned out and the top is actually from my Love Sewing magazine and it was one of the free patterns uh, just there which uh, again sewed up really quick like the Sophia trousers. I made the trousers yesterday afternoon and then I made the top in the evening and I'm pretty proud of this lovely summery outfit so I just need the beach days in order to be able to wear it <laughs> so that's three sewing makes from me in one week which is honestly if you know me totally unheard of 
Um, so yeah, I'm really chuffed with that. And hopefully, as I say, I'll get onto those vests that I wanted to make. I have decided on a couple of fabrics I want to use. So hopefully they'll be on next Friday's video. It's been a really sort of normal week at home here with the children. I did get some happy post today, which I can't show you. Excuse me, it's very noisy. I can't show you what's inside here um, because excitingly, I've been chosen by the lovely Shirley who runs So Affordable Fabrics. Again, everything I talk about, you'll be able to get in the description below. I love her fabrics. I've bought tons of them. And I've been chosen to be her Miss July, which I'm very excited about. And that basically means she sent me this top secret fabric and I can make whatever I want with it. And then I'll pop those photos over to Shirley and she'll be able to post them on her website and people will be able to go and they'll be able to buy the same fabric having seen it already made up. So yeah, really chuffed to have been chosen to do that. And I've got a few ideas. I only got the fabric like a couple hours ago, so I'm not 100% certain yet, but I'm really looking forward to that. I do have something else I am working on in July, which is very new to me. And um, I'm quite excited about doing as well. I know I'm being very vague, but I will tell you more when I can. And yeah, that's pretty much my roundup. So I do hope you've enjoyed seeing what I've made. Please do let me know what you think of uh, my Sophia's and my top. Let me know if you've made the Sophia trousers or the top from the Love Sewing Yourself and how you got on. As always, I'd really appreciate um, if you could comment down below and if you could like and also if you could subscribe if you're not already subscribed. It helps my videos get shown to people who might also be interested and have not seen them before. So I'm going to sign off there and wish you all a wonderful weekend and I'll catch you all in my next video. Mm -hmm.